Have you ever seized a moment to contemplate the significance of something as seemingly ordinary as going to the bathroom? This mundane daily activity is indeed a critical process carried out by our excretory system. This intricate biological system majestically maintains the body's internal balance or homeostasis. Now let's take a moment to illuminate the question, what really is the job of the excretory system? Simply put, it's the body's custodian, its waste management system. It expels undesired byproducts formed during metabolic activities such as urea, carbon dioxide and excess water. Let's dig deeper. The excretory system controls the volume and composition of body fluids, electrolytes and the pH level, which is pivotal in homeostasis. It does so by selectively eliminating or retaining various substances in the body. This system is the body's filtration machine, ensuring that harmful substances are expelled, while beneficial ones are retained. To illustrate this, imagine the excretory system as a meticulous curator, carefully deciding what stays and what goes. The kidneys, a key part of the excretory system, filter about 120, 150 quarts of blood daily to produce about one, two quarts of urine which comprises waste and extra fluid. This constant filtering is what helps maintain the body's internal balance. Today we're going to dive into the process of how the body excretes water, a substance fundamental to life. The excretion of water primarily involves three major organs, the kidneys, the skin, and the gastrointestinal tract. Taking center stage in this process are the kidneys. These are bean-shaped organs, nestled comfortably on either side of the spine. To truly comprehend their role, imagine a graphical representation of kidneys, vividly showcasing their unique structure and positioning. The kidneys perform the crucial task of filtering out waste and excess substances from the blood, which includes water. They accomplish this through an intricate process known as urine formation. Picture an animated sequence displaying this process, beginning with blood flowing into the kidneys, passing through a complex network of filtering units called nephrons, and ending up as urine. But they aren't simply indiscriminate filters. The volume of water they excrete is finely tuned according to the body's needs. Sometimes, when your body needs to conserve water, the kidneys will produce a smaller volume of highly concentrated urine. At other times, when there's a surplus of water in your system, the kidneys will excrete a larger volume of more diluted urine. This delicate regulatory function is why the kidneys are indispensable to our overall health. Now we're going to delve deeper into the skin's vital role in the excretory system. Although the skin not be the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about the excretory system, it's actually a key player in water excretion. This happens through a process we're all familiar with, perspiration, commonly known as sweating. Sweat, which is mostly composed of water, is produced by the sweat glands located all around our bodies, from forehead to toes. When the body heats up, these glands spring into action, releasing sweat onto the surface of our skin. Once the sweat is on the skin's surface, it starts to evaporate. This evaporation process helps to cool the body and maintain a stable internal temperature, which is crucial for our overall health and well-being. So as you can see, our skin plays an essential role in water excretion, and by extension, the overall process of temperature regulation in our bodies. In our journey of understanding water excretion, we cannot overlook the participation of the gastrointestinal tract, commonly abbreviated as the GT tract. Although its role may seem minor when compared to heavyweights such as kidneys and skin, it does play its part. Show image one, a labeled diagram of the GT tract. The GT tract is essential to the digestive process, breaking down the food we eat. And during this process, it contributes to fluid balance in the body. Now, where does the water excretion fit into this picture? The answer lies in the final stages of digestion, specifically during the formation of feces in the colon. Show image two, an infographic showing feces formation. In the colon, water is extracted from the waste material before it is expelled from the body. This process results in a minor loss of water. While it may not be as significant as the water excreted by kidneys or evaporated off the skin, every drop counts in maintaining our body's overall hydration balance. Conclusively, our excretory system plays a crucial role in the body's homeostasis by managing the water balance, creating optimal conditions for cell functions. GT tract each contribute to this important process. 
Drinking water triggers a complicated biological activity that maintains our bodies in harmony. The next time you visit the bathroom, remember that each drop of water that leaves your body is a tribute to the fantastic functioning of your excretory system, ensuring your health and survival.